Good morning, welcome to day 44 of Morning Maths. You just need a pencil and paper as normal. Copy me if you need to. Go faster than me if you can. You have three level questions. Question one. 700 plus a mystery plus seven. That's what it says. I've just copied it. Equals 777. Seven hundred, seven tens, seven units. We've got seven hundred there, but nothing else. Nothing in the tens, nothing in the units. Over here we've just got units. So we've got seven hundred, we've got seven units. Like I say, we've got seven hundred, we've got seven units. What's missing is the seven tens. Seven T. So we'll write seven T in here, because that's what's missing. And we're on question two. Column addition practice. Standard method of column addition, 358 plus 261. 8 plus 1 is of course 9. 5 plus 6, let's check on the number line, 5 plus 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, takes me to 11. 1 carry the 1, so it says 11. 3 plus 2 is 5, plus 1 is 6. It's not really worth 6, is it? worth 600 because of units, tens and hundreds. The answer has 600s, 110 and 9 units, 690 because plus makes things bigger usually. Make sure your answers got bigger after you've done a plus question because it usually does. And question three, I hope you're keeping up okay. Question three, we have our minus practice, our column subtraction practice. 432 minus 251 just switch your brains to minus if you need to because we were just on plus now we're on minus I'll put my hats on units which we call one sometimes tens and hundreds two take away one is one three take away five you can't do that if you had three marbles you couldn't give your friend five because you only had three so three needs some help we'll get some help from this four in the big old hundreds column which can go down to a three and we'll take one of those hundreds bring it in here where it becomes ten tens and now we've got thirteen tens take away five tens thirteen take away five thirteen take away one two three four five is eight and at the front three take away two is one a hundred and eighty one move on to question four by the way, did you know an odd number like 2 take away, sorry, an even number like 2 take away an odd number like 1 always gives you an odd number. Did you know that's true? You could check it if you want. Even take away odd is always odd. Is that true? Question 4 anyway. 4 times 8. Four times eight. I'll sing my fours eight times. Four, eight, twelve, sixteen, twenty, twenty-four, and twenty-eight, and thirty-two, and I'm done with thirty-two. Question five. I've got some cubes for this one. Eight divided by shared between four. So four groups. I'm putting these cubes in. One here, one here, one here, and one here. So these are the original. This is the pile of cubes I've still got to share out. 2 and 2 and 2 and 2. You can see every group's got 2 because the answer equals 2. Hopefully you're quite good at these little divisions now or super good at them. So that's the year far three level questions done. We'll be moving on. They don't take long these days, do they? Question 6 on the year 4 level. Something plus 400. plus 88 all that equals 6488 did you hear what was missing if I read it out you can probably hear it something plus 400 plus 88 equals 6488 it's the 6000 that's missing isn't it 6000 I couldn't really fit it in the box very well that is a six, by the way. I know that looks like a strange shape. That is a six. My gosh, it's terrible. Let's do it again. But in the missing box goes 6,000. 
My box wasn't big enough for that, was it? Question seven next. Uh, I might need a bit of space for this. Make sure you're caught up with number six. Question seven, it says more than, which is plus 2,343 more than 5,462. I put the biggest number at the bottom. Does it matter? Is that going to be a problem? It doesn't matter, no, because in plus, you can put either number at the top. 3 plus 2, 4 plus 6, 3 plus 4 plus 1, 2 plus 5 is 7. 7,805 is our final answer. Question 8. You might be able to do question 8 in your head. Maybe we just will. 1,000 reduced by, which means minus, in case you didn't know reduced, because that's a new word for morning maths. I'm going to, we're going to do this one in our head, I think. If you had 1,000 sweets, you gave away 999. Did you know that you'll just have one left? Because 999 is one less than 1,000. So when you have 1,000, you reduce it by 999, the answer is just one. You don't really need to do workings for that one. Even though you know me, I like to do workings for pretty much everything. But in some cases, I just think we don't need to. 1,000 take away 999 equals 1. What's next? 7 groups of 9 makes. Groups of is times. 7 times 9 is 7 groups of 9. So I'll sing my 7s up to 9 fingers, I suppose. 7, 14, 21, 28 and 35, 42 and 49, 56 and 63 is the answer. 63. We're already on question 10, which is division. Share 459 between 3. Do you remember how to see if things divide by 3? You add up the digits and see if it's in the 3 times table. Well, this is because 4 and 5 is 9, and another 9 makes 18, and 18 is in the 3s. How many 3s in 4? 1, because 3. Remainder 1. How many 3s in 15? 3, 6, 9, 12, and 15. Counted on my fingers, it was 5. How many 3s in 9? 3, 6, 9. Counted on my fingers, it was 3. That was question 10. That's year five done. Let's go to year six. Whoops. Hope you're caught up enough. Question 11. 40 plus five plus a mystery equals 45.1. 40 and five is obviously 45, but we need the point one. Point one, otherwise known as zero. Point one, isn't it? That's what we need. That's that question done. Let's do number 12 now. 500,000 plus 700,000. 5 plus 7 is 12. It's 1,200,000. But do you know how to write 1,200,000? Because we don't normally say it like that. We normally say... 1,200,000. I'm going to line it up to check we get the right number of zeros at the end. When we add this, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0. 5 plus 7, this is actually in the 100,000s column, is 12. So the 1 ends up in the millions column. 1,200,000. That's how we say it. We say 1,200,000. And there's nothing else to say. That's the answer. Question 13 will be at the top. Question 13. 9 take away 3.87. 9 is the biggest. 9 is bigger than 3 and a bit. 9 is 9 point nothing, isn't it? You can line up the decimal point. 3 and a bit... But to make it work, you probably know what you need. You need this point zero zero on the end of the 9. OK. 0 take away 7, we can't do. Get some help. 10 take away 7 is 3. 9 take away 8 is 1. 8 take away 3 is 5. 5.13. 9 take away 3 would be 6, but 9 take away 3 and a bit goes down to 5 and a bit. Number bonds check there. 87 and 13 makes 100. Keeps, there keeps being 
I keep coming across a lot of number bonds checks. Very helpful they are. 14, product is times. Product means times. We said that a few times last time. Product means times. 444 times 4. So lots of 4 times 4s, probably with the carried one. 4 times 4 is 16. 4 times 4 is 16, plus a carried one is 17. 4 times 4 is 16, plus a carried one is 17. 1,776. What's next? Question 15. This is division. How many 12s in 96? We can actually just sing our way to that one. Just sing our 12s till we get to 96. Because that means 96 divided by 12. That's what how many 12s in 96 means. 12 and 24, 36 and 48, and 60. And next you get 72, 84 and 96. I counted on my fingers and they told me it was 8. Because 12 fits into 96 8 times. Year 6 level coming up. We get faster and faster on these videos. Year 6 level, question 16. 5 plus a mystery plus 0 0.07 equals 5.87. Well, I know that I've got the 5. I know that I've got the 0 0.07 because that's here in the tenths column. But missing is the point 0.8. Zero. That's not zero. Point 0.8 is known as 0 0.8. 5.87. Okay. What's the most valuable digit here? Five units. More valuable than eight tenths. T sorry, eight tenths or seven hundredths. Let's do question 17. Addition. Just don't get tricked by the lining up here 4.44 and 99.9 .9. the 99 has got to go in front of the decimal point before the decimal point 99.9 .9. so 4.44 plus 99.9 .9. so we have 4 we have 13 13 plus 1 is 14 and we have 9 plus 1 is 10 104.34 well, 99 plus 4 is 103, and then we had the carried one, so it's 104 and a bit. Makes sense. And question 18, my gosh. Easy if you know what difference means, isn't it? What does difference mean in maths? Difference between 7 and 11. You might not know, but it actually means take away. So it's 11 take away 7. To, to find the difference between two numbers, you can just do biggest take away smallest. Usually, 11 take away 7 is 4. So that's what difference means, if you were not sure. Lots of things are minus, like difference between two numbers, or the distance between two numbers. That's also a minus. Also, how much faster, how much slower, how much longer, how much shorter, how much heavier, how much lighter. Those things are all minus. Anyway, question 19. 4.85 doubled is, let's see what it is. 4.85 doubled. Doubles mean, doubled means times by 2. So we can double it by multiplying it by 2. Nine hundred and seventy. That's a bit silly because it's 4 and a bit times 2. It's going to be 9 and a bit. 9.70. So don't forget your decimal points. Question 20. How many 4s in 588? Let's see. How many 4s in 5 is 1, remainder 1. How many 4s in 18? 4, remainder 2. And there's 7 in 28. 147. What sport is that a famous number in? 147. wonder if you know. Let's go to the answers. 147 and everything else. Hopefully they're all correct. Let someone know if they're not. And thanks for listening. I'll see you again next time on day 45.